Hello, my name is Martin Tietz. I'm the product manager of Team Developer, and I'm going to show you several new things of Team Developer 6.2 named Toolbars. In Team Developer 6.2 named Toolbars have received a significant update with uh, new APIs that you can leverage to create um, high usability applications for your users. Team Developer 6.2 named Toolbars have received an extensive API update and can now do lots of things that are quite useful. For example, you can enable and disable toolbar buttons, you can set the text of a toolbar button, set the tooltip of a toolbar button, and set the color of a toolbar button. You can retrieve the item count, you can create new toolbar buttons, and by creating that you get a new ID. And you can set the doc orientation via an app API. Let me show you how that looks like. If I compile this app and run it, you see that I can disable a button and you see the save button here has been disabled. I can enable it again. I can set the text of toolbar item zero, which is this one, this is a zero based index to the toolbar items. And it will set the text to this value here, new text. So you see this has been changed um, to new text. So set the tooltip to new tooltip and if I move over it, I shall see the new tooltip text, which I do, which is nice. You can set the color. In this case, the color I did hard code in the API, but you can, do, you can do that flexibly on your own. You can get the item count of toolbar items that are available here. It's one, two, three is this um, separator, four and five. And you can create a new button. If you do create a new button to that function, you basically pass an image and the text and the tooltip text, and you retrieve the button ID for it. And then there's a new message that you can react on. And then by doing so, if I click on that button, I'm actually reacting on that. And displaying the toolbar button ID is 2493, which is the one that has been created um, at runtime. bottom, left, right, however you like to have that or whatever you want to allow your users to do. So let's have a quick look at the source code here. Go back to the outline, contents, push button one, this one enables a toolbar item. You see the sal tb are the functions for toolbars. And there's a similar function to disable an item. Then the next one we have is toolbar set item text. So I'm basically retrieving the item text from a data field. And then this one here said item tooltip. Set item color. And you see that's where the dark green color is coming from here. Um, and then let's see what the other push buttons are doing. TB, uh, TB get item count. This one retrieves how many items are in the toolbar. Then so I'll toolbar add item, this function returns the uh, item ID, and then I can later react, you know, retrieve or query for the item ID. Let's see how that works. There's a new message, message on them, toolbar item select. And there I do put this message box where I um, retrieve the <coughs> clicked button um, in the W param parameter, I convert that to string and put it in the message box. Then here, based on what radio button is selected, I'm setting the toolbar dock status to the respective docking uh, location. So this is what you can do with the new enhanced name toolbars in Team Developer 6.2.
Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video about Team Developer 6.2 Name Toolbars. Talk to you very soon. Thanks again.